Well, here on GeekSmart today, we're going to be doing a dash cam camera install. So let's get to it. Well, welcome back to GeekSmart, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am here to do a full install. Well, this is my uh, Toyota Tacoma truck. It's a 2019 model. That's not really going to be that relevant. But if you're familiar with these, it's basically 2016 and newer have the same dash interior. Uh, so that's where I'm going to do the install at. This is Raven, which is a full connected dash cam. Does more than just do uh, what dash cams typically do. There's a lot of advanced features in this. It does smart diagnostics on your vehicle, so it can you can basically check on this, uh, see what you if you have a dash light come up, check on your vehicle before you take it to the mechanic. Uh, there's Wi-Fi hotspot spot mode built into it. There's turn by turn directions that are built into it. There's a lot of capability that's built into this. So I'm not saying that I need all those features. Uh, because my truck does have like navigation and stuff built in. However, it is going to be neat to try out. And to start, here on Geesmart, we're going to do the install of this guy. So, let me bring it in here and show you on the tailgate while we're out here outside anyway. Uh, show you what's in the box. Uh, I did not cut the tape open. I haven't really done anything with it. And then I do have, uh, I believe, a mount that's in here too. So, let's bring it over here. Let's take a peek what comes with it. And then we'll actually do the, I'm assuming, short install. It's a lovely windy day. It's nice and cool and I'm in my nice hair filled jacket. Thanks dogs. Um, so, and look at that. I mean, we've got hair in here already since I've opened it before. <laughs> um, I haven't looked at anything below. This is the only thing I've looked at so far. This is the actual camera. Uh, it does have some protective stuff over it. This obviously has a sticky mount. Um, I think this was a suction cup mount that it come that has as well so you can choose which way to do it they they gave me either way to do it here um, but it looks like it comes with an adhesive mount all right let's get it below into the, the stuff that i haven't seen yet so we can see the what they actually have on the bottom of the camera there's where all the sim card is the sd card goes in power goes in usb port all that stuff um, inside they have a quick start guide pretty simple ah, there goes a piece of paper because it is nice and windy and of course I decided to do it outside because it's lighter outside but we're gonna be in the truck most of the time so looks like they have adhesive pads additional adhesive pads so that's nice Allen wrench alcohol pad some clips that would be for the actual cables and routing the cables and I'm assuming that's what's in here is the power cable all right, so goes off your uh, diagnostic port, which obviously in order for it to get updates on uh, mechanical problems, it has to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this up, maybe keep the quick start guide out, since it is nice and windy. And uh, I haven't decided yet, I haven't really looked to see if this is the adhesive pad or the suction cup pad is gonna work best. Let's take a peek inside before we actually stick it to anything. Okay, so I'm sitting in my truck now. I have the camera out. Um, one thing I did notice real quick is that the Allen wrench that they give you, if you're going to use the adhesive mount at least, in order to change the angle of the mount, there is an Allen wrench piece right here. So that's what that is actually for. Uh, you can loosen that up and then adjust the angle of that to obviously level out the camera on your dash. Um, and so. You know, I actually found where I would like to keep it right about there, I think. And just tighten up that before you actually mount it. Now, once you have it mounted, uh, the camera can come off of the mount itself, right? And this mount, this adhesive mount, is designed to either stick to the dash or upside down stick to the window. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to actually stick it to the window rather than the dash. Um, if you have any kind of leather or anything like that top, definitely stick it to the windshield. In my case, it's kind of a textured plastic. Um, so I decided to stick it to the window and uh, that way it gets it up anyway. 
Uh, so that's what I'm going to do first is get that mounted. And then I'm going to start worrying about actually routing the cable. So right now I'm just kind of getting ready to mount it. Before you actually mount it, make sure you do pull off the plastic. Although you can actually do that afterward if you take the camera off. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and remove that red backer to the adhesive. There are two more of these, so if you m mess up or anything, you can obviously just do it again. to take it off after it's mounted. So now, you know, I'm decently happy about it. I think a little off on it, but I can live with that. Now I'm going to worry about getting the power cable routed. And you have a couple options in this case. Um, since it's on the lower portion of the, of the windshield, I'm going to route it around here, kind of like I've done with my other dash cams. Um, my other main dash cam I use. Um, so I want the extra wire down below, not up on top of the dash. So always, I always like starting at the actual camera and then working your way around. In this case, um, it really didn't give me, you know, in the box at least you don't really get a tool to help kind of push it into the crack. Um, I do have tools from other dash cam videos that I've done. So I'm probably gonna grab one of those little spludger but you can use anything, I just wouldn't use anything metal. Something plastic with a non-sharp tip, something blunt. You don't want to actually cut into this cable either. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is... Pop this off. I'll plug this in to there, so that way it's plugged in correctly. I'll put it back on its mount. And you definitely want to make sure that when you're routing the cable that you're not running the cable in front of the camera so you can stop blocking the camera view at all. Um, and we want to make sure we get it as far down in there as possible so it's not going to pop up at all. And so that's what usually having some kind of tool, as you can see it kind of just keeps popping up because my hands aren't small enough to really get down in there. Um, and so eventually I'm going to route it around here down to the actual port. So. Uh, looks like the, the cam cable is not going to be that much longer than what I need, so that's, I guess, good. My other ones usually have another five feet, it seems. Plenty of cable for more vehicles, so depending on your vehicle is whether or not this is where I, at least I placed it. So you might want to just run out the cable before you actually stick it to the windshield. And again, you can always unstick it and try it again, so. Let me, uh, let me get something to kind of push that down in there and we'll go from there. So now I'm just using this as a tool that I got from a different dash cam. I'm just kind of pushing it down in there. And then actually I'm going to route it down the rubber track here, inside here. Just kind of square it in there. All the way down. Sorry if my arm's in the way. What you're seeing, I apologize. And bring it through down here and down into my diagnostic port down below. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug her in to the port there. So now you can see it's actually booting up. Obviously I installed it upside down, so now I have to probably go into the settings to adjust that. I might still adjust that a little bit yet, just because it's a little, it's a little off level, but it's a good starting point. While it's doing that, I'm going to download the Raven app on my phone, and then we'll start again. So what I've done is I've downloaded the Raven Connected app which is, oops, sorry there, for, that's what it's called, Raven Connected. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up because I haven't created an account. I'm gonna uh, sign up this part right here, just driver name, email, password, and uh, I'll go from there. Give me just a moment. So they send you a confirmation code in your email, you enter that in, then you get to the Get Started page. So I'm gonna go ahead and get hit Get Started. This is now, a credit card information is required to set up Raven. 
So I guess you do have to send in a credit card. Um, all Ravens come with one month free service up to basic limit of one gig. So we're going to put it in and see where we go from there. Once you finish with the billing information, it does ask you to name your vehicle. Uh, this vehicle I'm just going to write call Tacoma because it's a Toyota Tacoma. It's save. Searching by nearby Ravens. Um, let Raven send you a push notification. Sure. Yeah, I'll enable that. That uh, we would like to send. It. Okay. Yep. Send me notifications. Okay. Would like to use Bluetooth. Sure. Obviously, that's how it's going to connect and set up uh, initially here. Scanning. It found one Raven. Found. There's my Raven. It's on the thing. It says Raven 042, and it, same thing was on here. And now it says registering on the actual item, so it didn't find it automatically. Not a whole lot of hard setup here. It's pretty simple. Updating cloud is what it's saying right now. Um, sorry, it's just hard to really get a good view out the glary thing. But right now, that's what it's saying. Registration complete up there. It says Raven 42 is set up. It could take up to 25 minutes for Raven's cellular connection to become active. The setup, the setup is done, so I can leave the app. Raven is ready. So, it's downloading updates right now. I'm going to go ahead and let it download updates. Um, and then we'll come back. Let me show you what it looks like. So here's what it looks like right now. Just telling me it's downloading updates. Um, the live feed is gone. But, of course, it's downloading and it's probably going to install and it's going to take a few minutes. So we'll give it some time. I got an alert on my phone that says Tacoma is now ready, which it didn't take 25 minutes. I would say it was 10, 15 minutes for me at least. Uh, then, of course, I was filming some of that update in progress. So I just opened the app. And the app is showing, um, obviously, a live view where I was more I'm parked. That's zero problems, zero miles an hour because I'm obviously not moving. Hotspot off. Drive reports I haven't driven yet. So I haven't used this yet. This is just about setting it up. But that's it. I didn't have to set up the um, the orientation. It obviously has an accelerometer in there so it knows which way it's pointed. Um, I haven't fully tested it yet, but this is a setup video. My full review in the end, when I finish it, will be on my TechCoots channel. I will put a link at that down below. So this was just the initial getting it up and running. Very simple. Um, aside from that, I will be back with a full review of this once I've actually used it for a little bit of time. So thanks for sticking by. Thanks for watching here on GeekSmart. I'll have more reviews coming. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.